New at six, finally some good drought news. SRP says that it is almost completely full of water and we went to the air to see for ourselves. Team 12's William Pitts is here to explain what will be done to keep the water levels high. Yeah, unlike the Colorado River, SRP's water actually does come from Arizona snowmelt. And with another huge storm coming in, SRP says it expects the lakes to be overflowing pretty soon. I hit the start button, everybody here okay and everybody can talk. Okay, well, good morning to everybody. This is Jesus Sato. I'm a meteorologist and emergency manager in water supply at SRP. Jesus Haro, our tour guide. And this is an interesting kind of uh, perspective. Interesting because it's a thousand feet up. We'll be talking about several different features. SRP took 12 News on a helicopter tour of its water system. SRP doesn't rely on the Colorado River, which is declining. SRP is mostly the Verde and Salt Rivers, and they are bursting from the winter storms. And that is great news for our water supply because as that snow begins to melt over the coming weeks and months, it's going to lead to significant inflows. SRP is talking about two to three times the amount of water in the Verde and Salt rivers. When I started here 20 years ago, Roosevelt was roughly at about 11 percent, 12 percent. And our reservoirs are nearly full now, but it's important to remember that year to year that can change. And SRP would like one lake to be full and bigger. Well, up ahead we're starting to uh, approach Bartlett Dam. Bartlett Dam creates Bartlett Lake. SRP has a plan to raise the dam by 97 feet and extend it out to the side. That would make Bartlett Lake three times bigger, able to hold 204 trillion gallons, or enough water for almost 2 million people. That's a very important study that's ongoing and would certainly aid with water supply issues going forward. And likely the new lake would never be completely full, but it would be much better than what they have now. The way that the dams are designed right now, a lot of that excess water we aren't able to take advantage of. For now, SRP is living large, with so much water stored away from the winter that they'll probably have to let some out of the lakes. Uh, it's important to note that that water is not being wasted. It's going to replenish the aquifer and our underground storage. SRP is not immune to the southwest mega drought, but this year the water system is looking very good. And if it was approved, that project is about 10 years away, and guys, it would cost about a billion dollars. I'll tell you, this winter that we've had could not have come at a better time. No, they are going to get so much water out of the snow that's up north right now. That's yeah. why they're ecstatic about how this winter went. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks.